Karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji wa KBC Channel 1. Na asante kwa kuendelea kutizama mkulima. Jukwaa linalokufunza mengi kuhusu mbinu tofauti za kilimo na jinsi ya kufanya kilimo biashara. Sausages ni mlo mtamu wa swa wakati wa kiamsha kinywa. Lakini si watu wote ufurahia ulaji wa sausages kwani nyingi wazo utengezwa kwa nyama. Basi ili walaji wa mboga au kipenda vegetarians wafurahie pia. Kuna mwanafunzi hapa Jekyot alivumbua sausages za uyoga. Je, zikoje? Karibu jioni. Sausage ni chakula kilichotengezwa kutoka kwa nyama ya ngombe, nguruwe ama kuku na huwa na chumvi na viungo ndani. Kuna zile ambazo hupikwa kwa mafuta kuchomwa na jiko la makaa ama kuchemshwa. Wapo hutaki kupika zote kwa siku moja, unaweza kuzihifadhi kwa kuziweka kwa jokovu ama kuzikausha. Lakini sausages nyingi humfamu laji nyama. Kwa wale walio na matatizo ya nyama, huwa vigumu kufurahia uroda huo. Leo tulikutana na mwanafunzi katika chuo hiki akifanya utafiti wa sausages za uyoga. Chakula tu chakula ni passion yangu. Nimekuwa nikitengeneza sausage, vegetarian sausages out of mushrooms. Bila kuweka nyama kwa hiyo sausage, ninatoa nyama yote kabisa, ninaeka mushroom kama vegetable. Sasa hiyo it, itakuwa vegetarian in that it has no meat. Haina nyama at all. Tumezoea nyama ndiyo hupa sausage utamu wake. Basi hii ya mboga itakuwaje? Kwanza, the, the, hiyo sausage inafaa kwa vegetarians. Vegetarian ha, hawali any meat at all, hawali nyama. Waneza kula viongo vya wanyama kama vile mayai ama maziwa lakini hawali nyama kabisa. Kwa hivyo hatuweze ka nyama kwa hiyo sausage ndo imit the qualification of being a vegetarian sausage. Kwanza kabisa kabla ya kutayarisha sausage zako, hakikisha umenunua uyoga wa kutosha, viungo vinavyohitajika na uvipime vizuri kama vile tu mwanafunzi wetu anavyosaidiwa na mkufunzi wake kupima. Kwanza kabisa unanunua zile mushroom. Hapa shuleni kwetu tunakuza hizo mushrooms. So after that naziosha ninazichop, ninazikata kata into small pieces ndio ziweze kwenda kwa blender. After chopping them, in a blend until they are quite paste. After pasting, kuna zile spices na additives tunaongeza kwa sausage, kama vile chumvi, mixed spices, white pepper, black pepper, garlic, ginger, royco if you want, garam masala. Izo zingine, it's a choice. So, nili choose kuweka izo ndo nataka sausage jangu kwa spicy. So, after kuweka hizo ingredients nina mix na ile paste ya mushrooms kabisa ama ni, leo ni blend pamoja so ikakuwa a thick paste apart from that tunaongezanga starch kwa mushroom ndio iweze ku bind iweze kushikana ndio ukipika hiyo sausage isi, isitokani sausages kwa kawaida huingizwa ndani ya mfuko ambapo hapo awali ulikuwa unatengezwa kutokana na utumbo wa wanyama lakini hivi sasa mfuko huo hutengezwa kutoka kwa collagen anikisha maliza kuchanganya kila kitu ninachukua casings nina casings the made of collagen ninaweka hiyo paste hapo ndani after mixing and stuffing inaitwa stuffing so after ku stuff your sausage inafaa kuwekwa kwa chila at 4 degrees overnight ndio iset ikoe ngumu so they i cannot see it tengeneza sausage leo na ikule leo lazima iset overnight alafu kesho ndio ni tie fry ama ni boil licha ya kusaidiwa sana na chuo kikuu Margaret anatusimulia baadhi ya changamoto anazopatana na nazo katika utafiti wake wa sausages za uyoga uh, mushroom ni expensive and it's rare to find unajua nyama I know, ukitoka hapa nje au utaenda steps mbili bila kuona buchari mahali ama supermarket inauzwa, you know. Lakini sasa mushrooms unazipata at specific places. So that's the first challenge kukosa hiyo material. Second challenge, vegetarian sausage si kama nyama. Unajua nyama tunaikanga fat and the meat itself in a bind, it's a binder. And mushroom haina hizo binding qualities. So unaweza tengeneza hiyo sausage ikose kushikana such that ukienda kupika inatokana tu itakuwa sausage na kwa mboga mboga tu. 
hiyo ndio challenge ya pili challenge ya tatu ni acceptance kuna watu hawapendi mushroom kuna watu hawapendi vegetarian things kuna mtu ako na believe that kama sausage haina nyama hiyo sio sausage so hiyo ni the third another one is them yenye iko internal hapa sina you know machine zetu hapa za kutengeneza sausage ni bulk kwa hivyo nime have kuimprovise vitu mingi sana so it's manual it's tiresome yeah akimaliza utafiti wake anajua soko lake li tayari kwani kuna watu wengi wanaoadhuriwa na nyama um, is this sausage ninatengeneza vegetarians watu wenye wana choose kutokula nyama i also meet them for people who eat wenye hawakuli nyama juu inawaharibikia unaona alafu this sausage iko na weight loss properties such that it is cholesterol free haina mafuta mingi and mushroom iko na hizo weight loss benefits because of the fiber unaona so market yangu itakuwa watu wenye wako na weight loss programs wana diet you know da on a diet au watu wanataka ku lose weight watu wenye kula nyama by choice wenye watu wenye kula nyama because they have a medical condition and also to those who wenye wanataka tu kuwa nutritionally benefited by mushrooms because mushroom have a lot of minerals they has especially selenium uh, mushroom pia ziko na nimewaambia hazina cholesterol they have low calories too so that is my target market Usitie shaka kuhusu ule mfuko ambao utiwa sausages kwani hata una chembe moja ya nyama mbali na kufurahia utamu wa sausages utapata madini yatokayo kwa uyoga Mbona sisi sote tusijaribu Mashine hii usaidia kutengeza maji tamu kwa wingi kilinganishwa na blender au kwa njia ya kibinafsi hivyo uleta faida tele wapo unafanya biashara Soko la sausages za uyoga ni soko jipya na iwapo wewe ni mkulima ambaye unafanya kilimo biashara unabudi kujitosa kwenye utengezaji wa sausages za uyoga na kujipatia hela kwa kufikia soko hili jipya la vegetarians ni hayo tulokuandalia hii leo lakini usikose kujiunga nasi tena Juma Alijalo tuendelee kuchanganua mengi katika nyanja hii ya kilimo hata hivyo iwapo una swali au pengine ungependa tuzuru shamba lako usisite kutujuza kwenye kurasa zetu za mtandaoni mkulima KBC TV hadi Jumalijalo nimekuwa wako Frederick Mbaga kwaeli